There are a lot of people out there who consider Captain Picard to be one of the best examples of what a great leader should be. So let's look back on this episode of Star Trek TNG called Chain of Command, where Captain Picard is being held captive and essentially tortured. Now, unlike the animal kingdom, the best leader for people is rarely the biggest, the loudest, the strongest. It's the person with the best judgment, the most brains, the most experience that should be in charge. The one who is fair and cunning and patient. Most people will agree that Picard embodies those traits. So great, we can identify characteristics of a good leader. But where our logic often goes off the tracks is when we assume, even subconsciously, that nothing can go wrong for people with those qualities. After all, if you're strong enough or smart enough, you wouldn't have gotten yourself into that mess in the first place, right? One of the best reasons Picard is such a good leader is shown when the chips are down and he's in an impossible situation. And this is how Picard shows one of the most important traits of a great leader. And that is, you cannot control what happens to you. Whether you are aware of it or not, you cannot control what happens to you but you can control how you react to it. Sometimes in life, sometimes, there will be something that arrives at your door, some event, some catastrophe that you didn't ask for, you didn't want, you didn't set into motion with your own actions, and the condition you're left in when it passes will largely be up to how you handled it. I fear that this is one of those life lessons that people don't really get until the very end, if at all, so when there is a show that illustrates these principles, then that is a very special show indeed. Fun fact, when Star Trek TNG was announced, there were many original Star Trek fans that were not excited about this news. If it didn't have Kirk and Spock, it was not Star Trek. But nevertheless, they tuned in and Picard and the rest of the crew won them over. So coming back to this episode, the way they wrapped up this story was wonderfully understated. In the last scene, Picard shares with Troy that in the end, he started to believe there were five lights, which refers back to a control tactic that was being used against him. And that's it. The scene ends. The credits roll. And I love it because most people can guess the types of things Troy would have said in response. That wasn't the point. The point was, it was a moment we got to see Picard revealing how much that experience actually affected him. He's not bulletproof, he's just a man like any other on the ship. But it's how he handles it that shows why he is captain. And like the saying goes, bravery is not the absence of fear, but continuing forward despite being afraid. Thanks for watching.